What's going on guys? Welcome to Drop It Like It's Scott, your home for gun range, gun reviews, and a gorgeous day here in November in Central Florida. And I understand that there was a uh, there was an individual in Florida recently by the name of Matt Carricker, uh, demo ranch guy, and he was out for the uh, Cletus uh, race in Sarasota, which is not too far from me. So kind of wish that uh, I was able to get him out here and get on the range with him, but you know, can always dream and hope for the best. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up and share this out if you like the content. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Anyway, I got a little special thing we're going to do today. But first off, let me say thank you to our sponsor today, which is Hunter's HD Gold Glasses. The best shooting range glasses you could ever have. This is one pair of the glasses that is absolutely amazing. It brightens things up. It makes things brighter. It makes it 43% more light comes through these glasses to allow you to see better on the range. So go check out Hunter's HD Gold Glasses. Tell them drop it like it's Scott sent you and pick up your pair of glasses today. All right, so here's what we're going to do. You see these on the ground right here? Check this out. Okay. So these are different stages of granite countertop pieces. And what we're going to do, you can see that they're labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, question mark, six and seven. These are by hardness of granite. And we're going to start out with a 22 and move our way up and see which one is the strongest. So it looks like we got some, this is a Shadow Storm, Taj Mahal, Steel Gray Granite, Brown Fantasy, Dolomite, Venetian Ice Granite, Blue something gra granite, and then Black Absolute Granite. They say that this is the hardest one. So we're going to see if this is the hardest one. We're gonna start with a 22, start on this one, and see what caliber destroys it. Thanks Mark Gibson for supplying some pieces of marble, or granite. Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna start with the Ruger SR22 on the Granite Challenge. This is Ruger SR22, and then we're gonna move from the Ruger SR22 to the nine millimeter fired out of the Canik TP9 Elite Combat Executive. And then if it doesn't destroy it on that, we're gonna move to the FN57, 5.7 by 28. And if it doesn't do anything there, we're gonna jump it up real big to a rifle round from the AR-15. And if that doesn't do it, we're gonna go from the AR-15 to the AK-47. And if that doesn't do it, which I'm sure it will, we're gonna to move to a shotgun. All right, so here we go. We got six pieces of granite. We're gonna try and see what caliber will go through it. Here we go, we're gonna start with 22 on all six of them. So we're gonna do the lightest one first to the heaviest one. All right, and as you can see, I've got it set up down here on the side. I've got my GoPro over there focused on it to where it can see. We're chambered, we're hot, let's do it. I'm gonna move over this way so it's at an angle so it doesn't ricochet back on me. Here we go. I think we got high on that thing. Let's check it out. All right, so we hit high and we took out a chunk of the top. So let's see if we can hit a little bit lower and see what we can do. All right, here we go. Round two, go a little bit lower. All right, safety's on. All right, so check this out. That's where the 22 hit and it just scuffed it. All right, so we did number one, it didn't go through. So we have number two, three, and four lined up. Number two, three, and four. Let's see if 22 will go through those. Same one with the 22. Going on number two. Because number two hit, but it didn't do anything. Let's go to three and four. Woo. All right, let's check them out. 22's not going through any of them. 22, nothing. 22, nothing. 22, nothing. Let's move up to a nine millimeter. We're gonna back up because splatter. Nine millimeter time. Mechanic, TP9, combat executive. We're gonna go for number one first. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> nine millimeter took him out. All right, let's go for nine millimeter on number four. See how we do on that one. Here we go. Yeah. I think they're toast. Let's go take a peek. So I'm pretty positive. If the nine millimeter did that to these, I'm sure it would destroy that one. 
because that's where I hit for the 22. But it busted up those and even busted up that big one. So let's move on to number six and number seven, or five, six, and seven. These are supposed to be a little bit stronger pieces of granite. All right, so we are set, we're ready to go. We're gonna continue with the nine millimeter because I just think it's gonna go through them all. Number five. I missed. Number five. Six. Whoa. What do we have? We have the strong one. Let's go take a peek at these. Nine millimeter. Oh boy. All right. This one was the Venetian granite. This one was the blue something. And this one is supposed to be the strongest one, which is black absolute granite. So far, the black absolute granite is actually holding up. Let's move up to the 5.7 by 28. Now, 5.7 by 28 is a very, 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 very fast round. And we got one chambered. And safety is off. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> that black granite had no chance. Look at this. One hit. I think the 9mm weakened it though. Because I think I hit in the exact same spot as the 9. Because the 9 hit here, the 5, 7 by 28 hit right there. And oh, actually, right here. And it busted it. So all that to say, if you're in a gun battle and you got granite to hide behind, you're safe up to a 5.7 by 28. But just for grins and giggles, let's go ahead and get the AR-15. We're gonna put them all the pieces together and see what it does. Here we go. And because we always do safety first, we're gonna go ahead and drop back a ways. My GoPro died because a GoPro sucks. I need another one. If you'd like to support the cause of Drop It Like a Scott, there's a link in the link section. There's a link in the link section. There's a link in the description below where you can support Drop It Like a Scott through PayPal. Help me get another camera because these GoPros are garbage. We're going to use the AR-15, Core AR-15, and we're going to use the Amend 2 magazines made in the USA. Use my discount code Drop It and get 20% off your order through Amend 2 magazines. But I think they're pretty much sold out on back order so if you can get some get some because they're just that good and this is the one that I torture tested and it's still running strong the AR-15 and again I forgot to put a new battery in my sight so we're gonna have to go with irons the core AR-15 we're gonna go for the tile down in the end see if you can see it I'll zoom you in it's as far as we zoom in we're loaded see what we can do how we can hit it I don't know if you heard that or not, but that was a bunch of pieces of tile that just went flying into the trees and came down raining. But we did hit it and it destroyed all of them. Good Lord. <laughs> all right, y'all, there it is. Again, thanks Mark Gibson for allowing me to shoot some of granite. Let me leave you with your word of encouragement. All right, so here's your word of encouragement for today. It comes out of Hebrews 11 verses 1. It says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and the abundance of what we do not see. So, have faith because we don't see everything that God's doing, but we know that he's doing something. So, have faith, have confidence. Thanks for watching Drop It Like It's Scott. We'll see you next time.
All right, you recording? Blah, 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 blah.